If you're looking for a great YouTube network to join, apply for full screen with the link in the description. To trade your games in for a better value, use leaptrade.com and use Broken Games HD as a referral. All right, what's going on, everybody? So this is Mick Olash, uh, host of Nightmares. This is the 14th boss fight. Um, I think this boss is actually pretty integral to the story of Bloodborne because from what I'm understanding, the reason he obviously has the title host of uh nightmare is because like he's the one that's kind of holding this scenario together like he's the one that kind of made it in, in in a sense that's what i'm gathering because you know just the theme of the game is you're in a nightmare uh you know a type of dream that's why when you go back to the you know the central hub where you where the store is and everything like that and you upgrade your ability it's called hunter's dream and you know the game has made it clear that you're in a nightmare and this guy is the host of the nightmare so he's kind of the one that's like put all this together he's not the you know ultimate boss but he's kind of put all this together it seems and from some of the stuff he said in the dialogue that's what i'm um getting but regarding the story i'm gonna do my own you know extra research about the story of this game because you know the story is not told through narrative None of the Souls games were. It was never told to you directly through speaking narrative. It was all always told um, very in very subtle ways through, you know, especially through the environment. You had to kind of go look for it. But um, this boss was uh, pretty easy, um, <laughs> whether you're leveled up or not. I found him so simple that I thought I was kind of being trolled by the, by the ease of this. Um, the only thing is that you know he sent these skeleton minions after you that never really they don't really die they just uh you know they just fall when you take their life bar out but they get back up in a few seconds and his his move set uh Mikolash's move set seemed very limited i was waiting him for for him to do some more moves and it, you know it just wasn't happening and i have a lot of insight because you know the more insight you have, the more, um, I don't think he meant to do that, the more, the harder the bosses are and the more um, moves they actually execute, they start to do new moves. Excuse me. And um, I'm actually going to, at a certain point, I'm actually going to kind of uh, skip towards where you find him because in this boss fight, you kind of got to find this guy. He runs a lot, runs away. And this place is the place is a little bit of a maze. It's it's a little bit for you to get confused or lost, um, a little easy. Um, so the the finding him was actually a little bit harder than killing him. Killing him was the easy part. It was finding him the second time around. After all this running, he he's doing was the hard part. So um, obviously was able to beat him this video uh after this i went directly to the next boss which was that was an exciting boss fight um the name is slipping oh mergo the wet nurse which is an extremely interesting name interesting concept because of how you walk into the fight and what you see and th th this game is real there's a definitely some type of interesting story behind this game and you can tell uh just by the lore and some of the things, some of the items you find that are essential to the game, like it, and especially the title of the boss fights, like there's there's this there's this theme about pregnancy and birth in the game, right? You saw you saw that with the one reborn, how he was being born from the moon. If you collect the um, umbilical cord items, the umbilical cords uh, that you have to eat are very important to the game. You know the boss fight, um, Mergo, the wet nurse. Um, there's even to get one of the umbilical cords there's a part of the game where uh, you know I found just by exploring but it's um, most people will probably have to you know look up how to how to find one of the umbilical cords I have two so far because you get one after you beat Mergo the wet nurse but there's this part this like secret area where you have to uh, go to the upper part of the the place where you first start out in the beginning of the game and there's this woman sitting on a gurney and she's like holding her stomach and she's pregnant apparently and you kill her and you get an umbilical cord so th you know this theme and concept of pregnancy and birth and you know nurses and everything like that it, it, it 
I'm sure when the story is finally revealed and I get like this um a, a clear understanding I'm sure it's going to be interesting because you know they're tying in this whole nightmare and dream and pregnancy thing in the game I think it's going to be pretty interesting but um yeah this this boss was pretty damn easy he had a very limited moon set, move set oh except when he pulled out the kind of um that little spirit bomb move that was the only other thing he did but I don't know he he doesn't seem to be he doesn't seem to be a fighter necessarily he seems to be just you know and I think they wanted to show that in a sense like he's not the fighting type of boss he's really just the host of this nightmare so that's why he's not such a formidable opponent I don't know but um yeah that's it so let me know what y'all think um, I'll be uploading the next boss um, and I, I beat him on the first try and I beat the next boss on the first try and the next boss is not easy to do on the first try let me know what y'all think I'm out peace